Welcome to Electron Online. Another very important rule to remember when it comes to Laplace transforms is knowing how to take the Laplace transform of an integral of a function in the time domain. The answer simply is that the Laplace transform of the integral of a function in the time domain is simply equal to 1 over s times the Laplace transform of that function not integrated. Well, let's try to prove that. Let's start out by saying that we have another function, g of t, which is equal to the integral of f of t. Of course, I'm using a dummy variable tau so that we don't confuse t and tau here. Well, if this is true, then the function of t is equal to the derivative of g prime of t. So if we now take the Laplace transform of g prime of t, well, we know how to do that. That is equal to s times the Laplace transform of g of t minus the function evaluated at zero. Now what is the function evaluated at zero? Well it turns out if g of t is equal to this then we can say that g of zero is equal to the integral from zero to t but since t is zero that from zero to zero of f of tau d tau and that will then of course equal zero which means this portion of that equation goes to zero. That means that the Laplace transform of g prime of t must therefore equal s times the Laplace transform of g of t. And with other words, if we then rewrite this equation, we could say that the Laplace transform of g of t is equal to, when we bring the s to the other side, 1 over s times the Laplace transform of g prime of t. Now we'll make the substitutions. g of t is defined as this, and g prime of t is defined as this. If we make those two substitutions, we can then say that the Laplace transform of g of t being the integral of f of t will be the integral from 0 to t of f, and we'll use the dummy variable tau times d tau, must therefore be equal to 1 over s times the Laplace transform of g prime of t, which is equal to f of t. And thus, the equation that we started with right up here, this shows that yes indeed, if we take the Laplace transform of the integral of an equation, that is the same as taking, saying 1 over s times the Laplace transform of the equation itself. A very handy rule to use and to memorize. And that's how we do it.